What's up, what's up, what's up? Nope, I don't like that either. Well, it's time for another project. The temperatures are starting to cool down here in the mornings and at night. We've been hitting, what, the low 60s, right? I don't know, I have no idea. You don't have no idea? You don't keep up the temperature, huh? Yeah. But it's felt cool, hadn't it? Yeah, it feels cool, bro. Yeah, and we saw when they had that sweeper going that all the dust was coming across from the north to the south. That means we're starting to get some northern breezes and the temperature is going to change. So I looked at the little forecast on my phone. We've been running in the 90s every day here right now, and it shows us next week we're only going to be running in the upper 80s. About 10 degree drop, 10 to 8 degree drop. So that's going to be pretty nice. And of course, we're still going to start getting these cool mornings. And I like it. I like it a lot. And this is what I've been waiting for to really get on some projects where you can work and not just be miserably hot and everything, you know. You can really get in there and get some work done. We stayed up last night till how late? Like, we stayed out there in the shop no. till, well, well 12, out the, maybe like 11. Like yeah, 11, 11, 11, 30 out in the shop last night, cleaning up, organizing, getting rid of things we don't need. And uh, that, that's, that's what I wanted, you know, this time of year to come about. Well, let me show you what else that I wanted, she wanted, and we got. We bought another one of these vinyl poly gym sliding patio doors right here low e glass i really like these these are those uh like a upvc i guess maybe what it is it just says vinyl so it may not actually be upvc let me show you where we're going to put this and as well we picked up some siding here <laughs> they broke some pieces loading it i told them y'all can't just pick it up at each end and let it bow you know it's going to snap in the middle the guys at Home Depot argued, oh, no, sir, it will not. And I said, oh, bull butter, it will. It wasn't just a few minutes later. They broke those pieces in two. They had to go get me more, and they gave me that. But, hey, I can use it, so uh, good on them. And as you see, we've been doing siding on this house. We've stopped it at different times, making trips to the Philippines. Melinda's been wanting me to get on it here recently and finish it up. But it was just so hot and miserable. She kind of understood too. And where I'm at here right now is at this window. And uh, this window, it's, it's pretty damaged. A uh, storm come through one time, broke some tree limbs and all here, hit this window, broke the outer glass here on the double pane, cracked the one above, uh, kind of warped the frame. It's warped down here on the side. So it's time for it to go out. Well, I went around and took a blade and cut the siding back to get to that flange to remove it, to unscrew it and pry it out of there. But as I was looking at it, I said, you know, I just don't want another window here. I had a different idea, and that was to put that patio door here. So I ran it across Melinda, and she said, yeah, absolutely. She thought it was a great idea too. Got the opinion of a couple other friends as well. They felt the same thing. That is like a living room space right there on the other side. And we always like looking out underneath this pecan tree here and where we like to sit outside right here and all. And it'd be nice to just be able to slide a door open right there and walk out. So the other day, Melinda and I, we took tape measure and we measured that rough opening in there on this window. And it turned out to be exactly the same as the rough opening call for that patio door then we measured from the concrete up to the top and the window came out maybe like two inches more so all i have to do is put a little bit of filler block in up there and we can just slip that patio door right in with very minimal work i'm probably just cut a strip of uh, half inch plywood and then cut a two by six layer it up there on the bottom of that header and it should be absolutely perfect. So we are excited to work on that and to get that in. And then we can uh, tackle the siding issues at the same time. And that's why I've got scaffolding built up here. Just some old crates that I repurposed scaffolding to get siding on those walls up above. What's up, Bucky? Nothing, Bucky. 
Your bananas for Bucky's, huh? Yes, I'm promoting Bucky's. <laughs> we don't have any sponsor for this. Just in case. The owner of the series. Uh, they need to give a discount because their prices are high. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Bucky's, if you're listening, Bucky's, Bucky's, Bucky's. Yeah. I need a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been back busy here working on the house. So we removed all that old window, all the debris. We had to resize the opening just a little bit at the top. Mel and I, we slid this heavy door. I mean, these things are heavy with this double pane tempered glass on here. I believe it's just double pane, not triple pane, but it is heavy without a doubt. My goodness um, so right now we got to get this door slid over there get it up there and then we're gonna unpackage it right in front of the opening All right, so we're gonna have to get some sealer behind this door before we fasten it all the way in. But what I want to do real quick is just do a dry fit on it and then I'll scoot it back and put the sealer. Just wanna make sure everything's okay first.
good. It actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. We'll set it back out of there. Get some sealer around it. Hey, don't slide that yet. And uh, it's got to tape stuff down there. So we'll have to set it back out and put sealer around it. But it is looking really, really good.